from pearls to powerhouse once upon a time in the mid 20th century dubai was a small fishing village along the persian gulf it was known for pearl diving and a bit of trading quant but nothing like the glitzy metropolitan which we know today then in the 1960 dubai hit the jackpot the oil suddenly this sleepy town was catapulted into the fast lane of development but even as oil money poured in dubai's leaders knew one thing oil would not last forever so they embarked on a bold journey to transform dubai from a little known oil town into a global manufacturing hub so who was the man with the plan to transform the country into such a power house entering his excellence sheikh rashid bin sayed al maktoum the visionary leader ruler of dubai from 1958 to 1990 sheikh rashid was not one to sit on his laurels he foresaw that oil wealth was a temporary windfall not a sustainable foundation so he started laying out the groundwork for something bigger something lasting in 1979 he pulled off a master stroke by constructing the port of jabal ali and this was not just any port it became the largest man made harbor in the world putting dubai on the map as a key player in international trade jabal ali was like dubai's golden ticket to the global economy turning the city into a logistic superstar so entering the free zone era Sheikh Rashid was not done yet to really make Dubai stand out he introduced the concept of free zones these were special areas where business could enjoy tax exemptions full ownership and a bunch of other perks the first of these were the Jabal Ali free zone Jafza opened in 1985 it was like a business paradise companies from all over the world flocked to it Jafza a smash hit and it marked beginning of Dubai's journey to becoming a business hub around the world. Dubai did not stop at one free zone. By 2000, Dubai had launched Dubai Internet City, Dubai Media City, attracting tech giants and media moguls from every corner of the globe. These zones were not just about business, they were about innovation, creativity, turning Dubai into a melting pot of ideas and opportunities. Then was the time for the new frontier the manufacturing hub dubai was not content to being just a business hub it wanted to make things too enter the dubai industrial strategy 2030 launched in 2016 this ambition plan set out to turn dubai into a global leader in industries like aerospace pharmaceuticals and automotive manufacturing the dubai south district home to the massive al maktoum international airport became the center of this manufacturing revolution companies flocked to the area eager to be part of dubai's next big chapter by 2022 manufacturing had become a major player in the uae's economy the sector was growing at an impressive rate of 8.75% a huge leap from the pre covid era it was not just a side hustle anymore manufacturing had become the third largest contributor to the uae's gdp right after mining and retail so what's next in dubai's industrial strategy 2030 well it will horizon more things like it is all about taking things to the next level this vision is in perfect sync with the united nations sustainable development goals which aims for resilient infrastructure and sustainable industrialization it also perfectly aligns with abu dhabi's economic vision of 2030 which is focused on diversifying the economy and reducing reliance on oil big investments big game the manufacturing boom is not just creating products it's creating jobs and attracting investments by 2022 over 500000 people were working in the manufacturing sector a significant jump from previous years and dubai's industrial city is expanding too and add, adding a massive 13.9 million square feet for the industrial space this expansion is not just about filling space it's about making dubai, dubai even more attractive to foreign businesses so what's the vision looking ahead these initiatives are not just about boosting the economy they are about 
creating a sustainable and global leadership in the world and in the GCC region. The UAE is committed to the United Nations for the sustainable development goals, especially those are relating to clean energy and climate action. By investing in hydrogen and other green technologies, the UAE is positioning itself as a leader in the global transition to a cleaner and more sustainable future. In the end, Dubai's journey from a humble fishing village to a global manufacturing powerhouse is nothing short of an epic. With a bold leadership, strategic investments and a focus on sustainability, Dubai and the UAE are not just keeping up with the world, they are setting the pace for what's to come next. For more videos like this on business and banking, give it a thumbs up to the video and do subscribe and like and comment our channel.